create a new composition. I already have my graphic with the lamp ready, so I'll just add it to the composition. Now, we need to create a provisional background, so let's add a solid. You can choose any color. At this point, we see the lamp, which needs to be moved slightly higher to be properly visible. Now, we will create our light. I'm creating a new solid layer, naming it light, and changing the color to whatever we want the light to be. For now, I'm turning off the visibility of this layer and using the ellipse tool to draw a mask. The mask can look something like this. Now, in the mask 1 parameters, set mask feather to 400 and mask opacity to 50. You can adjust the mask expansion parameter as needed. I'm creating a new null object to which will add an effect such as checkbox control. Just go to effects and presets, type in the name of the effect, and drag it onto our layer. Lock the effects panel so it doesn't disappear when selecting other layers. Now, in the light layer, find the opacity parameter and link it to the checkbox control, which will automatically create an expression for us. Now, just select our controller, and we have flickering light. You can also use keyframes to set when the light should turn on and off. In this case, our animation looks like this. Now, we select our layers and pre-compose them. We add a slight sway to the lamp using the CC Bennett effect. The start point needs to be pulled up to the top of the lamp, and the end point placed lower so the entire light is visible. On the first frame, set the bend parameter to 5, and in the first second, set it to minus 5. Press U to reveal keyframes, then select them and hit F9 to apply Easy Ease. Finally, we add the expression loop out ping pong so that our animation loops. Duplicate the lamp layer. But first, right click on the layer, select Time, and enable Time Remapping. Now, we can move the composition and extend its duration. Finally, add one more lamp to enhance the animation. And that's it. Thank you for every like and comment.